All right. Uh, so Satanic War Master is a really well-known Finnish black metal band and part of a, a very influential one. Uh, this is Amon, Amon Gander is... I think their sixth full-length album. They've released uh, countless uh, interstitial releases, splits, and things in the time since, uh, uh, well, especially in between 2005 and 2010. But then uh, everything has kind of slowed down beyond uh, 2010, and we sort we see uh, less frequent albums from this project and more frequent records from side projects, and. The sort of persistent thing is that any time he, uh, uh, Werewolf, the main person behind the band, uh, releases anything that sounds anything remotely like Satanic War Master, it is labeled as similar to Satanic War Master, and then they ask when the new Satanic War Master is coming out. Well, it came out, and it's very good. There are six, roughly six minute songs on this sixth album. And they certainly take uh, no real major liberty with the general appeal of the band beyond the uh, fluid melodic style that they developed on Up For Blute. And that's the second album from 2003. And, um, you know, I don't like every single record in the discography, but usually it's... Um, it really is just a matter of uh, the one that has the best fidelity. And I know that's stupid, but this one is particularly good sounding. It's a good listening experience. And um, Film of Winter was as well. This one is just a little bit cleaner, a little bit clearer, and a little bit more direct with just six solid songs that play front to back in a really, um, just really clean way. It's a good record you can just pick up and listen to and I know that sounds stupid but it, it counts when you collect records and you want to just pick up something that is uh, doesn't make you have to get up out of your seat while you're enjoying it um, so the big thing here which I didn't realize until I was halfway through this review was that Henry Cervalli provides keyboards here and uh, I was like man th that was a bit of a moon sorrow moment on that second song and it was really good and uh, later on uh, another song had keyboards in it and like i want to give this guy some credit oh it turns out to be this really well respected uh guy from moon sorrow who you know that's one of my favorite bands from the whole finnish canon so it's uh it's it was really cool uh that he played on this as well as the true werewolf record which i did know but um anyway uh expect the signature of the band to be intact, expect uh, a more cinematic record, expect uh, cleaner sound, production values, all that is very dynamic, very bombastic. Oh, I, I would, uh, so I kind of grew up with black metal in the late 90s and early 2000s, uh, and that's really what comes across here without all the uh, filthy compression laid upon it, which you would find in more mainstream acts from the late 90s and early 2000s. And it makes for an album that's just easier to leave on repeat. Um, even, you know, even, like, if your only reference is like Black Seeds on Virgin Soil or something like that, there is sort of a, a depth to the recording in that same vein here. Uh, not the best reference, but... Uh, there isn't a bad song on here. There are six of them, and yeah, I mean that's all there is to it. If if you are not familiar with what Satan Gormaster is already, uh, this wouldn't be the worst place to start to get the sense of what the fuss is about, why this band was influential, and you know it is impressive that they still have some ideas to crank out in this um, very oversaturated and heavily plagiarized style of guitar playing. Um, you know, between Horn and Sargeist and Satanic Warmaster, every riff that they've ever written has been made into someone else's album who has uh, kind of aped it. So there is a lot of, uh, the way I put it, it's kind of taking the throne back in a lot of ways because they put those melodies to use with complete phrases, uh, complete melodic phrases. 
that are interesting and very fitting, I guess, for the song they're writing. You know, these are actual songs, and they are memorable. Um, I don't know, again, I am kind of stuck with where I started with the band and still like those early albums, but this one definitely made me want to pick it up. You know, I really like that album art. Um, I really like the, uh, you know, the full package there is, is impressive. And I like that it's just like a 35 minute, 37 minute, uh, black metal record that, um, doesn't get stuck in any one place and presents a handful of really good complete songs. So anyway, uh, that's above average from my point of view. I think it's uh, one of the higher recommendations of December. Uh, uh, see if that's to your taste. And uh, there's a lot more detail and you know all that in the written review.